The instructor tells me the students at this Hebrew school have had three reactions. The first is anxiety, fear, and helplessness. The second is anger, and the third is sense of apathy, as students may feel the situation overseas does not directly impact them. He says that he has worked towards teaching the students that the Jewish philosophy is not revenge. Revenge, revenge, revenge. That's not uh, uh, the goal. Obviously, the goal is, you know, for a, for a peaceful outcome, uh, that the hostages should be free, and that, um, you know, the violent tactics that were that were used, or the people that uh, perpetrated the violence, are obviously brought to justice. He says that the school has sent some short emails to parents regarding protocols, but not specific material to tell their children. Instead, he thinks that conversation is one that can happen organically. When kids feel safe around their parents, in general, overall, uh, then they'll bring things to their parents. Uh, and then there's buy-in from the, from the child, uh, as opposed to parents kind of inundating them with, you know, some sort of, uh, you know, uh, like ideology or philosophy. He also warned students about what is circulating on social media, saying Hamas has put disturbing images and videos online that are easily accessible to children. He shared one example he used when talking about situations like this. When we consume food, you know, we don't do it recklessly. You know, we make sure that we know the ingredients. Uh, and, and social media is no different. Social media requires a very high level of, uh, of vigilance. Uh, what am I consuming? Uh, and is that good for my mind? I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.